It's a nasty day at Rancho Max today. Rain all day. It's not very cold. It's like in the 60s probably. Birds are chirping. I got something in the mailbox a minute ago. Stand by. It wasn't mailed in, it was dropped off. Nice taquito. Now if I can find it. Oh, I already put it in the vise, I forgot. Wicked Edge Day. I'll give you some better pictures of it in a little while. I had to do a little work right there on it. Had a little chip right there. But I got it out. Now I'm getting ready to sharpen it. Stand by. Well, I got it initially set at 17 degrees. He wanted it shiny and sharp. High polish. I'm getting ready to go to the 600-400 grit stones now. You'll see a remarkable difference half of that. Stand by. So I just went to the blue 800 paddles. This is my second pass on. After the 800 paddles, I go to 1,000, then I go to ceramic paddles. Hey, my first name is Henry. Stand by. Oh, one second. Damn credit card people. They charge me $30 a year for using the credit card machine on my knife business for sales tax. But I don't charge any sales tax because I don't sell anything. I just supply service. But yet, it's got to be reported to the state because you have a credit card machine in the state of Virginia. So I got to pay $30 more a year besides the $99 I pay a year for that credit card machine. And the two dollars and nine cents a day, I mean, I, and the twenty-nine dollars a month. It's a nice credit card machine, but I was a dummy when I got it because I didn't have a smartphone in those days. So I got a, almost like a smartphone credit card machine. Works, works beautiful. Got a nice paper printer. Man, you couldn't ask for it to be any nicer. I can buy out of the lease. I got the lease is August of two thousand and seventeen, so I got. A year and three or four months left on the lease. They're so damn aggravating. If I had $500, I'd pay out of it and get that thing away and throw it in the trash can. Well, actually, I had to turn it back in, so I couldn't throw it in the trash can. But you know how it goes. Anyway, this baby is coming along nice now. Sneaking in the corner here. I'm going to switch over to the 1000 pals in a minute. All we're doing now is actually sharpening it more, but getting the scratches out from the lower grit. Diamond paddles. I think this is going to be a fancy ticket when it gets through. 
I know it's going to be plenty damn sharp. Stand by a minute. Let's go to the 1,000 grit. Mmm. Damn, baby. You're looking good now. Mmm. Dangerous tequila. Mmm. Okay. Stand by. I'm finishing up on the core ceramics now. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but it's really uh, shaping up nice. I got some water right here on a sponge. I like to put water on the ceramic ones. Stand by. Next is the medium and coarser ceramics. Well, we finished. Basically, we got to use the leather straps now to finish up the final coating. I don't know that you'll be able to see this. Stand by a minute. Let me take it off of here. I don't know if you'll focus this good or not from this distance. This is not a this is my really good camera, but it just doesn't focus too good. The damn little Kodak one focuses a hundred times better than this baby. This baby costs a lot more money. It was old too. Okay. A little bit more to go. Now when you use the leather straps, you have to make a slight adjustment on the wicked edge. Because the leather's softer, you got to move the you got to move the degree bar in uh, in one degree. It's funny how that works, but that's what you have to do. Stand and with the leather you got to remember you can only go one way. You cut the leather off the off the paddle. You can only go up. Very lightly. We're just about through. A couple more passes. We'll be at the end of the line. My finest creations. Okay, I think that ought to do it.
I think my iPad will take better pictures. You get some still pictures of it. Okay, that's it. Rick Hender design, carbon fiber scales, frame lock, I like frame locks. See you tomorrow somewhere, maybe even the land of Nyla. It was the Mumbles Man's birthday today, too. The Mumbles Man is a shade older. I called him up this morning and wished him a happy birthday. The Mumbles Man. See you later.